All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day so far. And uh, of course, this week, you know, continues to be a very eventful week. I believe we have lined up a fair bit of agenda items just to run through uh, with everyone. And, you know, aside from the regular items that, you know, we usually share as well, uh, I'm sure everyone is also aware that the election window is open. Uh, nominations are, of course, live. I believe that is open until tomorrow, my time. Um, that is at least, well, Simon, I'm not falling for it. I am not opening up like the side chat today. So I'm not falling for it so easily. Um, but okay, back to where I was at. Okay. So election is live. So key dates to watch out for. Please go and check out the announcement, uh, that Unjust Mouse has kindly put out for us. I believe there is approximately 48 hours or so for you to, you know, submit the nominations if you're interested. Of course, there is the board candidates as well as the lead exec candidates for now. And thereafter, there is also the executive window cycle. All right. So those are some of the, uh, you know, opportunities that are available if you are passionate about the future of Monkey Down and, you know, are of course, looking at various ways that you can contribute. This is definitely an amazing platform. We want to encourage everyone to consider. All right, so enough of the nagging. I'm sure you guys have, uh, you know, engaged in a very robust discussion. So today, towards the tail end or towards the later part, or should I say second half of the town hall, we will also be bringing up uh, the candidates who are available, the nominees from both the board as well as the lead exec uh, to actually just come up and share with us, give us a brief introduction of themselves and, you know, some of the things that they have talked about. And then we can probably uh, carry on most of the discussions within the lead exec discussion thread or the board discussion uh, thread as well. All right. Uh, of course, if there are, you know, some time left available, we could potentially facilitate some Q&A. Now, uh, I promise you enough of nagging. Now, onward to the fun part. Um, good news, the barrel raffle is actually still live and alongside the G2 Day raffle tickets. Now, I want to make sure we shout out to Distro as well for helping us organize the G2 Day. Uh, this was definitely not an easy one to organize. Uh, of course, you know, it was uh, very, very you know hyped up a lot of uh, folks were following jito and you know to be able to sort of uh, organize something like that it's definitely impressive and this is your chance to still participate uh, in it i believe we oh wow this roll how did it okay so barrel raffle is so out unfortunately i actually i actually thought we could uh, get a slight window for everyone to still participate in the barrel raffle but okay it seems like it's just the jito raffle available so feel free to go check it out. Apparently, FFF Rune, the famous Foxes, uh, Rune just opened as well. I believe Anjas is coming up to share with us a little bit more of what exactly those are. Um, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, or rather let the fox out of the bag. Now, let's move on to our regular agenda item. There is one specific item that makes Monkey Dao's Town Hall uh, what it is. And um, if someone can guess it rightly, the first rightful comment that we see um will probably get like uh well i guess we can just give you know some bananas to people who guess it rightly there is one item that we always always talk about every town hall what exactly is this well aside from my birthday it seems like no one wants free bananas uh barrel no ban barrel is kind of right but also not exactly the case yes Simon, it's newsletter, but unfortunately, unfortunately, you do not qualify for free bananas. So let's move on. Okay, the second one who says uh, a newsletter will be the one who get the extra banana. Uh, this row will credit some uh, extra banana later, or otherwise I can do it as well. Uh, it seems like this goes to so gone. Uh, although the spelling is a little bit funny, I'm not sure why we're spelling newsletter in this manner but i guess it's a uh, you know classic friday monkey business kind of thing you know but so god congratulations we we'll credit you some bananas thank you for you know participating in this now as uh, we rightly pointed out our newsletter this week 
no town hall is ever complete without the you know news newsletter on our banana speed and so let's you know put more pressure onto the newsletter team so that they continue producing a top tier newsletter for us to enjoy on a weekly basis this week's newsletter is on the 102 edition uh continuing to feature more monkey meetups monkey meetups are always great uh, we highly encourage everyone to leverage on the community the community grant program that we have uh, carved out uh, of course that has been utilized for uh, different communities across the globe a uh, different grassroots effort that has been organized but there is also a, a fair bit uh, of uh, potential that I, I i would say you know we would love for more folks to you know simply step up and try to organize uh you know monkey events bring monkeys together if you're interested uh note that the fund the program is there to help uh, encourage and um, facilitate more monkey meetups uh, you know across the whole of 2024 especially now town hall tldr as usual if you guys are interested to sit through an hour long of uh recording with a lot of rambles and like 40 percent of uh trolling remarks like birthdays and whatnot we always have the town hall recording link available uh the town hall recording is made possible by the entire town hall team um who helps to do the tldr writing down point form by point form uh recording it and uploading it on, onto our youtube channel and usually it's made available within 12 hours or 24 hours after town hall but of course if you do not want to see through an hour long recording there's always the option of uh, opting for the text updates everything can be shared with you in point form just simply use the command exclamation mark town hall tldr uh, and i would highly encourage everyone to do so it is you know incredibly important you know as we continue to try out new initiatives and whatnot uh, i think you know a lot of the feedback has been oh the election is ongoing why do i not know about it now uh, of course we as a team will definitely actively explore new ways to keep members updated but you know uh if individually we could help to just come in uh, on any day that you are available just pop in uh throw in the exclamation mark command town hall tldr uh this would be an amazing way for you to get quickly updated of everything that you need to know for the past week at least all right so that's the town hall tldr and uh this elections uh graphic or rather infographic is put together by unjust mouse uh shout out to unjust mouse thanks for uh making it and uh, so organized and putting it out so nicely uh if you are curious around what exactly this election is about uh and especially you know this as a follow-up to the bylaws update what exactly does this entail this infographic would be an amazing um you know sort of material to look at and to reference uh to as to what you would be voting for specifically uh in this current cycle at least and how the structure would eventually all work now there are of course a couple of nominated positions elected positions five board members especially uh and i encourage you to go check it out uh engage with candidates and uh you know make sure that you make your vote count as well and i especially like this uh you know monkey dao's core mission is to maximize vibes community strength connections mutual support innovations and value to our members and the broader solana ecosystem now monkey communication merch events music and more music and more web3 events uh monkey down nft myc uh i know we have shared this every other week but it's incredibly important for us to be able to organize everyone together um just you know to enjoy that chaotic monkey energy and monkey down nft myc is no different and there is of course a monkey hotel that is being organized if you guys are planning to head to the uh nft nyc please let us know and then we would love to sort of put everyone together uh, get all in the hotel and uh, hopefully pray that we do not get kicked out okay just kidding this is going on record and it would look really bad if we actually do get kicked out uh yes vancouver monkeys should reach out to kawabonga jones and uh toronto monkeys can dm super silent there is apparently a vancouver monkey meetup next week as well Thank you, Super Simon, our Super SAI man. Thank you so much uh, for letting us know. If you guys are interested to get organized, please let Simon know or our Kawa Bunga. Apologize if that pronunciation is not right. Um, 
so New York March 28 to 29 there's also Solana hacker house so feel free to take note of it especially if you are you know in the city anyway uh you know it would be great to just you know go ahead and check it out and see if there's any interesting you know you may like to participate and whatnot um yeah there's also the Toronto Canada February 9 welcoming 2024 with Tensor and CD Dragon interesting this is the dragon year uh and just in about i think less than two weeks or so is the uh lunar new year and uh it's a festive that i personally celebrate and it's the it's the year of the dragon apparently now uh from red pockets to delicious bow that's very interesting solana toronto uh invites you to a night or alpha pack social monday monkey spotlight as well this week we had jito as well as the boroku dragons uh you can listen to the recording there monkey music this week's uh spotify playlist similarly was released as well and i just want to give a quick shout out as well <laughs> uh, i am secretly a zoomer i apologize uh, yeah i just want to give a quick shout out as well to the entire monkey music team i'm not sure if you guys saw the recent tweet that was pushed out well give me a while i know you guys are all you know listening to town hall but let me try to pull out that tweet that uh we recently retweeted uh, shout out to Jason, Seb, and the rest of the team. I want to share this with everyone. All right, let's see this. Bad Environment Club. Monkey Music collab with them. That's a one of one, one, of one art featuring uh, Matchy Bass. Uh, 75 pieces drop Thursday, February 1st. Shout out to the entire Monkey Music team for you know organizing this and making this possible. Uh, this is really impressive. Well, Monkey Dao is lucky to have you guys as well. <laughs> English, I am trying to not get distracted. You know, I'm, you know, only just getting comfortable talking to myself. But, uh, you know, let's uh, try to not get distracted. But okay, so onward to the favorite part of our newsletter every week, the monkey content. Uh, set for eve apparently has one of the cleanest monkey and full disclosure i actually tried to buy this monkey in the early days of our, our monkey down slash smb and i uh, was not successful but uh you know proud that he is the owner of this beautiful monkeys uh there's a lot a lot of uh you know posts out there this week as well on returning to monkey so it's nice to see you know posts uh you know from our fellow monkeys <laughs> DG's post always, you know, cracks me up a little bit. Confirmed. Yes, I'm trying to buy Monkey. That is right. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the newsletter. Uh, you know, this newsletter, in fact, is uh, one of the most exciting part of every week's uh, town hall. Uh, and I think this is an open secret at this stage. Now, you must be wondering, you know, how can we talk about events uh, without mentioning the most important event of the year? Now, another pop quiz. I know, uh, was it so God that got hold of the first pop quiz? That was uh, the newsletter as the answer. What, what would be the so-called uh, biggest event that we are all looking forward to for 2024? Maybe this could be another 50 bananas to give out. Well, NFT NYC is correct, but uh, not exactly. Solus, I wish you could just, you know, spell it out because Seth did just that and uh, he is the winner. SVP could mean many, many things, uh, but I think you can't go wrong with Breakpoint. So let's, I'll give you one banana for that effort, but uh, Seth, you get that uh, extra banana for answering that correctly. <laughs> well, it's uh, it, it, one banana is better than no banana. All right, so hopefully you enjoy that. Yes, so um the one of the biggest event that we are all very excited about is definitely the singapore breakpoint 2024 and now it's time to let everyone run loose the monkey point 2024 telegram channel is now live uh we just managed to set it up today feel free to come join us uh i just popped the link in the town hall tech chat thread if you are planning to go to uh, the Breakpoint 2024 in Singapore, please join the tech chat, the Telegram chat. But I do want to let everyone know that, you know, this is actually a gated uh, Telegram group. 
Now, what this means that it is that you would have to set up your Matrica account in order to be admitted as a member in the Telegram group. So what you would need to do is to go to your Matrica profile and then link your Telegram account there. And thereafter, once you click it, it will allow you to join it accordingly. Uh, this was the same case that we did for the Breakpoint 2023. Uh, although it is a little bit of a hassle initially, but uh, thereafter, you know, it is basically seamless. Uh, so apologies if this is a little bit annoying, and I know it is. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, like the screenshot already shows, but uh, do go ahead and set up your profile on uh, Metrica. Link your Telegram account as soon as you can. Thereafter, you would be able to get into the, you know, uh, Telegram group. This is just to ensure that, you know, members who come in are, in fact, verified members and will be uh, safe from, you know, any potential like scammers, hackers. Uh, well, it's a way to mitigate the risk at least. All right. So hopefully you guys are, you know, not having too rough a time with that. Uh, of course, if you need any help, Please reach out to Simon or myself. Uh, we will be more than happy to guide you towards the right places. Um, yeah, Ben, uh, maybe just check the profile or maybe one of the linkage or something could be uh, slightly glitchy or whatnot. Uh, but of course, if this continues to be an issue, we will uh, check it out and figure out what's wrong there. All right. So yes, so that is the Singapore Breakpoint one. Of course, uh, we will be sharing more information. I had originally planned to put out the uh, hotel signups uh, as we mentioned uh, earlier, but uh, fortunately I've been held uh, in the jungle this week. So uh, hopefully this upcoming week, we will get uh, an opportunity to share more information with everybody. Uh, I do not have a basement. <laughs> well, but I do have the streets. If you guys like the streets, uh, sure. Well, just kidding. Okay, so enough of me talking. I know we do have a bunch of other items we want to run through. Uh, next up, let's talk a little bit about the immutability working group that Distro has shared uh, previously as well. Distro GM, I know you're ready, you're excited and pumped to share with us more information. Whenever you're ready, let us know a little bit more insight as to what this entails. Sorry, um, yeah, GM, GM everyone. Um, Sorry, I'm not sure if it's well, just me uh, or is it like this slightly so? Or, okay, I think it should be good. Now. Is it, you is it, is it now? Yeah, good for me. Thank you. Okay, because I can hear like a little bit of an echo, so I wasn't sure. Um, all right. Um, so 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 yeah. So my first update today is going to be about the the mutability working group. So that was a proposal that um, was passed um, a few weeks ago. Uh, so we started working on that. We already have um, the group ready. So what we'll be doing now is to make an announcement um, either today or or, or tomorrow um, with the kind of uh, like full details about the working group um, and um, and the members of the of the working group. So you can see like the, the kind of the, their experience and what um, are we kind of uh, um, going to do uh, at least like the goals of, of that uh, you can you can follow that on the, on the proposal already but we will have like a document explaining everything um, so that's the, the first thing um, the idea is that we will start um, the the work um, starting next week and then um, there's like a, a few months uh, that um, we have to kind of uh, come up with with a proposal uh, that the the lead exec uh, will will be um, kind of responsible for analyzing and um, eventually deciding on that. But that will be very transparent. Like the DAO will have access to that as well. So so yeah, everything will be explained uh, um, in the announcement. Uh, but this is um, something that we are actively working on, uh, and the new kind of uh, um, leadership, like the new exec team. And, and board members uh, will kind of inherit that from from this uh, executive team. So yeah, very excited about that. Uh, we have amazing people uh, with us. I think it's um, another showcase of this, the kind of uh, um, the amount of people and knowledge that we have uh, in our community. So we are very excited about that. Um, you'll see who's going to be part of that. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, quite quite um, good for for the future of um, of our collections as well so let's see let's see what comes out of of that work as well all right thanks a lot this show really appreciate it and i think next one that we have lined up is related to the triple f partnership 
And uh, I think as we mentioned earlier as well, the raffle is live, but what exactly is this about? Let's bring up Unjust Mouse to share with us in specific or as to what exactly this is and how you can participate. Now, I think aside from FFF, we also have another partnership that uh, is lined up um, that is related to a dog and a bot apparently. And uh, this may be a tool that a lot of committee members may really be using. And so Unjust Mouse, whenever you're ready, feel free to take over the stage. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, good morning, GMGM to everyone. Uh, a few things to talk about. Uh, we have three current partnerships that are up and starting to uh, get moving. Uh, the first one is the FFF one that you guys will see. It's up in the banana stand right now. Uh, they have decided to give us a nice amount of uh, runes. Uh, they are random runes. So they gave us 10 runes and they're all random. Uh, and so from there, uh, we're going to have a raffle at the end of this town hall. It's kind of like a flash uh, raffle. Uh, so it's only going to be open for another 25 or so minutes at most. And, uh, you know, if you want to get in and join, uh, Fi Famous Foxes is doing this uh, new kind of rune uh I guess push. Uh, the TLDR is all posted in the announcement that I gave. If you haven't seen it yet, pretty much uh, this entire collection is going to add to the current fox number um, and all those foxes that you can get from these kinds of runes and putting them together uh, will give you the same sort of utility as all the other foxes uh, but it is not a fundraise uh, so they are going to burn all mint proceeds anything that happened from this this is why they're able to give them away uh, to us so that you know uh, all the proceeds to these would get burned anyway so this is kind of like a null thing for both sides which is great for them and great for us because uh, we get to give stuff to monkeys it doesn't come at any cost other than bananas which means it's long as you're active you should be able to snag one if you want uh, and then from there if you want to continue and uh, kind of combine the runes you can uh, you'll need a total of four uh, the ten that they gave us again are random so we don't know we might have got a bunch of legendary ones might have got ones that are just common uh, they haven't revealed that either so that'll happen after uh, we do the raffle and then we distribute them uh, and then from there, uh, if you need more information, you can head over to their Discord. And uh, that's kind of like the long short of that. If you want more details, I highly recommend going over and reading up on their papers. Uh, so then you can kind of go from there. Uh, and then two other uh, things that we're working on that are uh, they're not completely finished and they're kind of uh, almost there. Uh, one was teased this week, uh, which if you guys maybe noticed on Twitter, we quickly teased something that is with ME and uh, with their little uh, their 3D avatar. Uh, and so we're finalizing this right now. Uh, but pretty much what's going to happen is that they have a new Magic Eden wallet uh, and they're they gave us uh, beta codes and we're going to be putting those up in the uh, banana stand for monkeys. Uh, we'll do both first come first serve and then we'll also do raffles so that we can get a bunch of monkeys that get to kind of test out their new wallet uh, and everyone will, that uh, will win will get a beta code and then they'll be able to sign up and try out their wallet. Uh, so that's something kind of fun and interesting that they're doing. Also, you guys might have noticed uh, so there are some other collections that are getting some, some bonuses with Magic Eden. Uh, we are also going to be getting those as well so we're planning on uh, having a few days come up where uh, we'll tell all the monkeys ahead of time make sure everyone knows uh, but you'll be able to get some extra diamonds and collect them inside of magic Eden if you decide to trade with them of course you do not have to no one has to do any of this if they don't want to but of course if you would like to uh, you would get a bonus yes the bonus is going to be for both generations uh, said TBS you asked uh, yeah so it'll be anyone that holds a monkey that is a part of monkey DAO so that would be gen 2 and gen 3 uh, and the last uh, kind of uh, discussion that's been happening has been happening uh, with the uh, BonkBot team. Uh, just as a note, the BonkBot team is not associated with the Bonk team. They are two very different entities. But luckily for us, uh, the BonkBot creators are all monkeys. And uh, they have been trying to figure out a way to work with MonkeyDAO for a while. And they're super excited to be able to work with us. So I'm not going to reveal too, too much more about how that's going to go. But uh, it's going to happen pretty soon, uh, most likely in this next week, uh, where it'll allow for us to get a little bit of benefit from BonkBot uh, since everyone's been kind of going crazy with it. Uh, we thought it would be kind of fun to be able to collab with them. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, the top three collaborations for now. Uh, and that's, I guess, about it for now for me, Jemmy. Uh, thanks so much. All right. Thanks a lot, Just Miles. I can't believe I just got, well, owned in the Town Hall Tech Chat trend.
Senpai basically just told me the classic mic trick or just sent me the classic mic trick of uh, I can't hear you but uh, in a colorblind manner and for a good like couple of minutes I was like figuring hey is there a glitch I'm not seeing any green tag but uh, apparently you know this is just another one of those uh, Friday things I guess but uh, yeah back to the agenda item thanks again i'm just miles appreciate you coming up to share with us a lot more information on that now the next item we wanted to talk about today is that you know the monkey petrol team uh some of us may or may not have already realized the monkey petrol team recently underwent a slight overhaul uh the monkey petrol has been a system that has been introduced you know since the early uh phases of monkey down and has been instrumental in the entire uh setup as well as the moderation of uh, monkey down's discord and it has successfully helped us you know pick out scammers you know from the early stages and uh help to ensure our members do not fall into uh, you know weird situations especially with this uh new or slightly you know weirder encounters with uh certain uh individuals that may have uh, malicious intentions so shout out to the entire monkey petrol team uh the past present uh sorry the past as well as the present you know monkey petrol folks recently uh you know simon led uh, an overhaul of the monkey petrol team uh including you know re-looking at some legacy members as well as you know reinstating a proper structure for uh the monkey petrol team moving forward and we're excited to share that the six monkey petrol teams uh, moving forward uh is going to include hld uh guacamole and uh well actually you know what let me just post the six names here uh let's see so these are the six monkeys uh that is part of the overhaul uh moving forward the petrol team our the safety of monkey dolls discord will be led by our six amazing monkey petrol who will be all around the clock helping us to keep out for bad actors across and uh all we ask for your help is to send them a little bit of love and uh, help us to thank them for everything that they do uh so we are happy to you know welcome the new team as we enter a new era of monkey down especially with the latest v4 of the bylaws and we look forward to a brighter safer monkey down discord for uh, experience for everyone especially for our new monkeys that we will be meeting in the many 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 weeks to come all right uh so yeah and also we want to make sure that we do a major shout out as well to everyone who applied uh you know there, it, it is definitely um you know done in intentionally in a more phased out approach to ensure that uh, various uh, methods or like frameworks can be tested out and you know while it is currently you know only limited to six monkey petrol team members for now uh there's definitely a chance that you know this team size may expand in the future and we could still you know uh, reach out to you from the uh, most recent application form that you guys filled up so shout out to everybody who put yourself forward and uh, you know share with us uh, your passion as well in helping us to moderate the monkey out this call we appreciate you now uh mix up as well i think this is uh one thing that some of us have been paying quite close attention to uh there of course have been some very uh you know engaging conversations that have been had uh myself inclusive the election is live as we shared earlier and we want to continue to use the you know various platform to allow our monkeys to meet the new candidates and uh it is uh, perhaps timely for us to also allocate some time on town hall for us to basically introduce some of the individuals that have uh, very briefly and kindly uh, put themselves forward i think especially going through the different uh, nominations i think all of us are probably you know on the same page that you know we continue to be very impressed by the kind of talent the caliber of talent we continue to attract within monkey down now instead of us sharing with you how amazing these monkeys are why not let's invite them to come out and share with us a little bit more so without further delay i will start off with uh you know our board monkey candidates i know there are a couple of candidates here one two three four five six board candidates that have made themselves available to come out and share with us a quick intro of themselves uh so fellow candidates you can come out and you know maybe mention a little bit of your background uh a, a quick run through of what you shared in your nomination that would be super helpful 
uh, with no order of favoritism and whatnot, it's uh, let's bring up uh, Craig uh, and then Jam, Raiden, Dawn, King Kong, and Ben Bottle. Uh, I will start sending the invite to you guys to come up to the stage to speak uh, whenever you're ready. Uh, feel free to unmute yourself and whoever is uh, ready to uh, you know just come up first. Uh, we will just let you go first. All right. Um, so let me see, Craig, if you are here, let me know. Ah, I see you. Okay, lovely. And now find Jam. Okay, lovely. Craig, thank you for coming to join us and thank you for taking time to come up today. Uh, whenever you're ready, we would love to have you take over the stage. GM. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Craig, aka Craigery. I have owned monkeys uh, since January 2022. In my time here, I've co-authored four proposals. Two of them have passed, one failed with 54% of the vote, and one is live now. So why am I running for the board? Right now, MonkeyDAO has a massive treasury, several million dollars in the bank. This is fantastic, but it also means that we are a target for bad actors, both internal and external. We need a strong and trusted board to protect the DAO's assets. I have a history of advocating for transparency and holding leaders accountable in the DAO. With my nomination, I have made a few pledges regarding transparency, such as I won't vote for myself. I won't take any form of compensation, direct or indirect. I will hold all of my monkey assets in one wallet, and I will get board approval before buying or selling. This role is not about a roadmap for Monkey Dow. It's about protecting Monkey Dow, and I hope you vote accordingly, whether for me or not. Thanks. All right, thanks, Craig. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, next up, let's invite Jam. Jam, whenever you're ready, feel free to take over the stage. Thank you for joining us. Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Jam here. Um, I've been in Monk Dow since August 21. Um, didn't mint, but bought my monkeys pretty quickly shortly after the mint and then jumped in Discord. Um, you know, I, I want to serve on the board because I feel like I've done a lot over the years um, trying to, you know, help us move forward, resolve disputes and issues that have been going on and try to have the community's voice be heard um, or the way that I perceive the community's voice. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, Craig hit on a lot of things I was going to say. <laughs> it's it, it's really the, the role of the board here just to make sure that I think that the executive team can actually operate and not deal with the day-to-day -day bullshit, for lack of a better word. Um, I think I'm uniquely positioned to to be in that role um, as part of my job. What I do is help people resolve their disputes, help people find the truth, help people be transparent, avoid liability. Um, you know, my biggest concern is you know similar to what Craig said. We have a massive treasury now. Before you know, we were just kind of a bunch of monkeys in a Discord. Now we kind of have responsibilities and we just got to make sure that our assets are protected, that, you know, members are on board with the actions that are taken by the executives and really try to promote um, a more member driven environment here where, you know, uh, the various monks can request funds, put up projects and other members will feel safe um, and confident that whatever they're being told is actually going to happen. Um, so, you know, uh, I hope that you'll vote for me. I think there's a lot of great candidates, and I think we're going to be well positioned for success going forward. Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot, Jam. Really appreciate you taking the time to come join us today. Uh, we continue the lease. Um, so, October, I saw your comment as well. Apologies if I've missed you earlier. I just sent you an invite to speak and I saw that you responded. Uh, but we'll invite Raiden up first. Raiden, thanks a lot. That is a very beautiful monkey, to be honest. I thought that was a uh, nanos for a second. But whenever you're ready, feel free to take over the stage. Yeah, good morning, GMGM. GM. Uh, I actually got this monkey from Stix. He sold it at OTC like last week um but yeah what's up guys uh, i'm running for board i know i haven't been here that long but um just being in the community for less than a month i can see myself here for a long term and um i'm here to actually improve and gain experience to actually help the monkey dow move forward uh past the bad actors that we've seen um in my short time here 
and actually move this forward to, you know, gain value for every single holder, whether that may be Gen 2 or Gen 3. Um, the main thing I want to push on is um, an increased focus on the Gen 3. I've been looking at the discussions, um, kind of not really being vocal in there, but just kind of eyeing it from uh, from the sidelines. And it seems like a lot of people from Gen 3 just seem left out. Um, and that's the case. That's going to be the case when there's like a separate Gen 2 chat. Uh, but putting a focus into how they can contribute more into the DAO. And I know there's going to be discussions in the coming weeks about 0% royalties and immutability um, and how Gen 2 will actually be able to contribute to the DAO if there's no royalties being paid. Uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be finding a happy medium. And um, something that we can all agree on. I mean, it's it's for a collective, you know. Um, but yeah, I also want to push forward to a general marketplace, kind of like um, how the foxes do, uh, just to get more utility for the monkey DAO, so we can actually transition away from the royalties for Gen two and Gen three, and um, actually give us an operating revenue with the developers that we have i mean banana stands great but that doesn't really add value that just um kind of distributes value and i guess the last thing i want to touch on uh, as my time if i am elected to the board is kind of increased partnerships i know the board's been doing great we have this raffle today for the fff um but just trying to get more in touch with different organizations to kind of increase the value and bring it in house that way. Um, and if anybody has any questions on like my position on anything, feel free to shoot me a message. I'm usually around most of the day. So if you want to send uh, me a DM, I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Raiden. Appreciate you coming out to share with us. Well, next up, we will have uh, King Kong. King Kong, whenever you are available, feel free to unmute yourself, and we would love to have you take over the stage. GM, GM, can you guys hear me all right? Yep, we hear you well, loud and clear. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I'm King Kong. Uh, been a patrol member here for a little less than a year, and stayed busy, stayed focused on the team, and on the community um always try to stay positive and in the chats uh, i feel like i have really good insight to what the community wants and what they're looking for in execs and the entire monkey dow moving forward uh something to push on is this board seat and the board in general is going to be an oversight and judicial to protect against any bad actors, anything like that, and to give more transparency to the entire community. Uh, again, what Jam, what Jam mentioned was not have to have the execs worry about day to day and worry about uh, constant complaints and always nitpicking on any little thing that happens. The board will be there to be the in between between the execs and the entire community uh, it's important to have someone who is active and aware of what's going on in gen 2 and gen 3 and give updates accordingly uh, mainly it's going to be the transparency and moving forward so that all members know exactly what's happening all the updates going on with each board member each exec and full transparency to help move everything forward smoothly. If you haven't had a chance, I'd highly recommend reading the bylaws, uh, learn what this new setup is going to be like, because it is going to be a lot different moving forward. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Always happy to hop on DMs or hop in the voice chat and chat with you guys. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, King Kong. Appreciate you as well. Uh, next up, we have Ben Bottle, who's uh, looking really good in his uh, PFP. Whenever you're ready, feel free to take over the stage. Jim Jian. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm in Monkey Dao 
since 2022, I've been involved by, uh, with various uh, initiatives, uh, always uh, trying to participate and help for the the pleasure of our monkey, fellow monkeys, uh, and um, yeah, and that can be uh, for the for the for you you saw me for the jacket and and some of the of the merch stuff uh, i'm involved in some uh, partnership discussion that uh, that will uh, come uh, live soon um and yeah i'm running for the board because i do believe that the new bylaws with this board role uh, appearing and uh, whoever is elected in the board i think that's the main thing that everyone needs to really understand is the difference between executive and board members and the board members are uh, as craig and king can say that the board is not there and we won't be there to promote their own ideas for the dao but to make sure that the bylaws are respected the code of conduct conduct is respected and mainly the voice of the monkey and their and their vote and their ideas is there and respected by uh, and aligned with whatever the exec are doing. So that's, I mean, my personal belief on different stuff in the DAO doesn't matter as a board member if I'm elected, because the goal is to be sure that the voice of everyone is uh, respected. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. And so I really, uh, I'm really confident and happy to see like the application of uh, other candidates for, for the board and uh, and being sure that uh, this new structure will help to get uh, us to a, a new stage and, and get the, the monkey DAO, uh, I mean, keeping the monkey DAO leading the, the, the way in, uh, in the space and, and, uh, and uh, decentralization of, of organizations. All right. Thanks a lot, Ben. Really appreciate you for coming out to speak. Although I think half of the, you know, community members uh, are just, you know, getting distracted by your, you know, very attractive voice. Uh, but still appreciate you coming out to share with us more. Uh, moving down the list, we have So October. So October, uh, once again, apologies for earlier, you know, missing out the tag. Uh, but whenever you're ready, we'd love to have you come out and share with us more. Cheers. So, Octopus, uh, are you there? Can you hear me? Let's see. Um, is this a potential glitch? I am checking the profile and it looks fine. Let's see. All right, so Octopus, uh, whenever you're ready, let me know uh, and we can still bring you up again. Um, let's see. Yes, uh, Don, let me see if I can still bring you up as well. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, guys. You have to uh, bear with the weird radio silence for a little bit. I'm trying to see if we can bring up our amazing candidates. Um, all right, Octopus, whenever you're back, uh, let me know. Okay. Oh, it seems like you figured out the unmuting. Uh, whenever you're, you are ready, feel free to uh, try to give it a shot. Let's see if it works down. All right, I think your mic is not muted anymore. At least that's what we are seeing. Um, do you want to try to say something? Otherwise, uh, Don, are you hearing us? Uh, if you are hearing us, can you let me know in the chat as well? And then I would love to bring you up next. Oh, I think Don mentioned earlier. Okay, lovely. Don is here. Um, so Octopus, I'm not sure why, but if you don't mind, uh, maybe you can try to figure out a little bit on your your mind and just you know keep speaking. If he hears something, we'll let you know, and then you know you can just uh, un uh mute yourself again. Uh, we'll let Don go first. Uh, Don, whenever you're ready, uh, we'd love to have you share with us a little bit more. GM, GM monkeys, what's up? Um. So I guess just to get to know me a little more, I've uh, been part of Monkey Dow since August 2021. Um, been just kind of very active in helping a lot of tech needs. Um, first and foremost, I'm a developer in the Solana space, um, kind of been consulting for different projects, working on my own 
stuff as well um and made incredible relationships throughout uh my time in the monkey dow i gotta close this chat <laughs> it's, it's too much um and uh basically you know i i feel like being on the board will be a great way to kind of still keep um an eye on things on on how things are being run and having an objective viewpoint i, I tend to have uh, a, a lot of connections with a, a bunch of different members and try and keep an open mind um and viewpoint for you know people's uh suggestions for what we should build um how we should build it um and also you know any kind of frustrations or worries or you know excitements um been trying to go to as many events as i can um and you know just being a part of the community has just been incredible for me um you know having this group of uh degenerates and and gen 2 chat and dgen channel um back in the day to also just having professional working relationships with um everyone in, in, throughout the the dow um being able to help out uh in terms of just getting getting the DAO back on track in terms of building and using the technology that we have currently to the best of our ability, you know, whether that be creating new revenue streams or new utilities that makes it easier for our holders to interact with different DApps or tooling. Um, you know, those are some things that I definitely will push for. And I know it's not really the job of a board member, but it will be, you know, a technical advice and you know being able to help any execs that may be technical being able to guide them in that regard and um being able to help out on different projects so um just really excited to see kind of the growth of the dow moving forward this is kind of a monumental change for us so shout out to nam and all the uh current and previous execs for the jobs that you've you've done and served um it's been thankless jobs at times but i'm really excited for the the mo mo uh moving forward how how we'll grow so i think i think that's about it but you know i'm always here for questions try and stay active in the community so if you, you got anything just let me know all right thanks a lot don really appreciate it uh so october we saw your message as well if you don't mind you want to try to unmute yourself and see if the mic is now working again uh we'd love to help bring you up again and to everyone listening i feel like uh it is highly likely that we may stretch a little bit be uh over the one hour mark that we usually have uh so if you guys don't mind uh, we ask for your patience to stay with us as we try to bring out all the candidates and introduce them to you and we do have a couple of agenda items uh just a few right after as well so octopus whenever you're ready feel free to come up and share with us more All right, I see that this may be a my issue. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's try to figure it out. Um, we can definitely still bring it up as long as uh the other candidates are um not entirely done yet for the day. Uh, so if you for somehow you know you figure it out you know before the end of town hall, just tag myself or tag anyone, and then we would you know be happy to bring it up again. All right, next up, let's move on to the list of our exact candidates. Uh, so God, I know so God is ready. He's pumped. He just unmuted his mic as well. Whenever you're ready, feel free to take over the stage. Thanks, Jamie. How you doing? Very well. Good. Um, yeah. So I uh, thanks for for letting us uh, speak up here. Um, I yeah, I know we want to we want to stay on time. So um yeah i mean i've been in the the ecosystem for 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 a few years since 2021 um shortly after bought my, my first monkey and uh and now uh i have a, I have a few um i uh you know in, in in real life you know i i put my linkedin kind of bio there on on the uh candidates discussion because i'm super transparent i've already doxed myself a long time ago and um you know worked with the um the dow with one of the kind of a, a, a very difficult in real life initiative which was the the one of one orders um when i was you know new to the to the dow and uh, you know obviously executed that um you know in 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 getting all the orders out the door and, and it was a lot of fun and i got to meet a lot of 
the guys in here and spent a lot of time with some OGs, which was which was awesome, and uh, it was an honor to to do that. And um, you know, I, I just I, you guys can read the whole the whole bio there on on the uh, on the Discord channel. But you know, the main points here is you know I you know. I, it, if I uh, have the honor of of contributing to the to the DAO and helping out with the DAO, you know I want to make sure that I, I work for for all all of you, you know all you guys, and you know I'm nothing but a but a humble servant of the DAO at the end of the day. Um, you know I want to protect our brand and our IP. You know I want to see our monkeys all over the all over the internet and uh, and drive people to our art, which is which is best in class. It's the best art. It's a, it's the best pixel art that's out there. Period. And um, and I and I want to collaborate intensely with the board and other execs, you know, because I think that we need to be united in finding compromises instead of um, you know being divided and and halting initiative. You know, there's always a compromise. There's always a middle ground. Um, you know, it happens every day in in the businesses that I run that you need to look at everyone's perspective and find a solution instead of stalling, or you will fail. Um, you know, I, um, I, I want to make sure that all the initiatives that are driven by the DAO, um, get executed. That is, that is the number one thing. And so, you know, I've shown that I can do this with even our past, you know, merch drops. I am not in the merch industry, by the way. Um, I just, my wife had, had, you know, a, a little bit of an affiliation. I, I dove in and we, we figured it out. So a lot of this stuff, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and we'll get, we'll get there, uh, together and, uh, you know, return to monkey and make make uh make smb great again all right thanks a lot so god really appreciate you for coming out and sharing with us and uh, so october i saw that unjust mouse just mentioned that if you want to come out and try again uh you can definitely do it so just let us know uh otherwise uh hot sauce is also a candidate but he's unfortunately tied up at work today he will not be able to join us just yet uh, next up, we'll bring out Unjust Mouse to come out and share with us a little bit more uh, on his uh, nomination as well. All right, GM, GM. Yeah. Uh, first, I wanted to note, though, is that it's funny. Uh, everyone that is up on the town hall for the first time had the chance to like see how distracting the side chat is and like how Jemmy has been able to handle that for the last like two years without getting too distracted by it. Uh, so props to everyone that uh, did that and then tried to ignore the side chain. It's really hard when people are messaging a thousand times a minute. Um, I am stalling a little bit English. It's all right. Uh, so yeah, uh, I am Andrew or Unjust Mouse. Uh, I'm looking to run for a lead executive. And uh, I have been heavily enjoying, um, thank you, uh, my time here uh, on the elected uh, board for the past, um, I can't stop looking, uh, for the last six months. I've really loved uh, all the work that I've been able to do, and I want to be able to continue that. Uh, so for me, I think uh, the next stages of the DAO, of course, I think no matter who is going to take the lead or who's going to take the board, the core identity for all of us is that we want to make sure that the DAO moves forward and we want to make sure that it is successful and that all the members are happy as they go. Uh, so on my end, uh, I think that the lead position fits a little bit better into what I'm good at over the past uh, epoch, uh, luckily being a part of the board. Uh, you know, I kind of had to dabble in a lot of different things. Uh, V3 didn't completely outline where we had to go and what we had to do. Uh, and so I kind of jumped in a little bit of everything. And I think that for me, uh, the executive role moving forward, uh, now that it's going to have a lot more focus, uh, I'm super excited for the upcoming exec board. But I think that uh, from uh, I've always enjoyed being more in the leadership role. I think that it kind of uh, defines a little bit of what I uh, enjoy and what I want to do for the DAO. Um, I have a lot of ideas. Uh, if anyone had a chance to look at my 8,000 ideas, uh, I think that ultimately the DAO is in a great place moving forward. Uh, we have a treasury, as almost all the board brought up before, and they are trying to make sure that you know that the DAO's interests are at hand for the treasury. And then for me, I think that there is a direction that we should be going uh, with that. And I know that it might be an uncommon opinion, but spending is a part of that. And I'm super excited to think of how the way that the DAO can work moving forward. Um, I've been focusing on partnerships. Uh, so as some others have brought up, right, uh, one of the things that maybe everyone doesn't see and it's not as transparent enough is how uh, how much time is spent on partnerships and how uh, that process usually takes a lot longer than anyone expects. Uh, you know, there from the moment of, you know, 
when we have tensorians that are up, it's very easy for us to execute on something that we control. But when it's like working with Magic Eden, we have to take a lot of time to kind of uh, discuss with them. We have to go through legal. We have to go through all these ex uh, these processes that take a lot of time and effort on both ends. And I hope that in the next iteration of the DAO, you know, we can expedite that on our end, but we still have to work with others and meet them where they are. So I'm super excited to run for lead exec. I uh, really hope that you know this uh, competition doesn't you know sp uh, too much fud amongst all the members of the DAO. I'm super excited to see where we can go next, uh, and I can't wait to be a part of that. Whether or not it's an active uh, exec member or if it's uh, a participant in the DAO. So thanks so much for the chat, Jemmy. I'll leave it to yours because you just posted today. All right, thanks a lot, and just miles appreciate it. Uh, so, Octopus, I saw that uh, you know you may have uh, mentioned, but if you do want to come up and uh, try again, feel free to let us know. Uh, you do have uh, one last window, and yes, and just miles, thank you. I guess uh, that was the you know sort of like segue as well. I just put up my nomination as well, uh, for the lead exec uh, role. Um, I after well after consultation with a lot of uh, folks and you know also want to give a quick shout out as well to you know every individual that has uh, reached out i really appreciate it um this decision was not definitely uh one that i took like oh one second sorry there's a it, some weird background noise okay uh, yeah getting really distracted but uh you know this I just want to mention that this decision was definitely not <laughs> something that I took lightly. Um, of course, you know, I'm cognizant of the, you know, various uh, areas where I am really actively involved in the DAO, including Monkey Ventures. And I want to make a, a quick, sort of make a big shout out as well to the entire, you know, uh, Monkey Ventures team. In fact, before I made this decision, I, you know, actually consulted the entire team at Monkey Ventures and they were very supportive of it uh for what we you know actually have and they you know gave me that full support to you know fully go ahead with uh, nominating myself but i think what i do want to sort of acknowledge as well as i put forward this nomination is you know the fact that this uh, bylaw update is really a good point uh for us to relook at where we are take stock of what we have achieved and to consider what we uh, can continue to do moving forward as well as areas of improvement I think that also, you know, comes with the very first step of acknowledging that a problem does exist, or rather, a, not exactly a, a problem, but, a, you know, a gap does exist. Um, the, the gap that exists between, you know, the, the perceived hierarchy for, you know, execs as well as like committee members. And there are also, you know, based on feedback, there are indeed areas across the DAO which may have appears to be slightly more uh, professionalized, which makes uh, certain processes slightly more unfriendly or are not as approachable for, you know, community members uh, across. So I think what we definitely want to try to do as well, if given the opportunity, is to find the right balance moving forward and to leverage on the recent changes. Uh, I think more importantly, as I close it off, I just want to mention that, you know, Monkey Dao literally is what it is because of every single one that passes through the door. Um, and no matter whoever sort of like, you know, gets uh, nominated or, or rather get elected across the different roles, I just hope that, you know, uh, we can all sort of ensure that we stay true to our mode of uh, community being the core of everything that we do. Community should always be what we are about and, you know, our actions, our decisions to, should continue to reflect that. Because even as we continue to pursue, you know, uh, the, the status of, you know, the, the best organization or the biggest organization without the community that brought us tr throughout the years to where we are today, uh, we would just be a good looking empty shell. And we don't, we definitely do not want, you know, any of that. And yes, Nano, uh, the role that I'm trying to run for is the lead exec role as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this helps to provide some insights and, you know, I'm really appreciative for, you know, everything that, you know, I have uh, had the opportunity to work on and will continue to have the opportunity to contribute across uh, various as areas as well. Thank you. And... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I do want to move on with the rest of the items, but uh, I believe this should be the last uh, call for any other candidates who may want to come up. Um, calling once, calling twice.
and um, well that's it for this week well don't worry i think there are certain candidates who haven't managed to come up uh, and share with us a couple of words this week uh next week's town hall we will similarly use it as a platform to welcome you and come up and give a quick introduction of yourself uh, and i just want to apologize if it indeed felt a little bit longer for that part of the intro or rather the elaboration uh but next up we are ready to now move forward with uh bringing up our the only norm to share with us a little bit around the handover conversations plus the latest announcement that was put out so norm gm gm whenever you're ready feel free to take over the stage
All right, Norm, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Um, definitely. I think, you know, some of the decisions may not have been easy, but, you know, uh, on behalf of everybody, we appreciate you for everything that you have done and will continue to do. All right. So this is now the time where everybody is uh, waiting for enough of the serious stuff. Let's bring up some fun, uh, fun of the barrels, uh, watching barrels get raffled away, watching winners come out and win for the day and the GTO raffle as well. Now, as this draw is preparing to stream live, I just want to quickly mention as well, we did put out one new item on the banana stand. That is the Monkey Down banner. There is 75 uh, claims available. I think one of our fellow monkey made up the, or uh, rather suggested the idea of, uh, you know, re replacing our SMB or Monkey Down banner with the OG banner that we had before and we are exactly going to do just that so if you are interested to be part of the first wave of monkeys to be featured in the monkey down og banner uh some of the ogs here may remember what exactly we are talking about this is now your time to do so there is only 75 slots for the first uh claim available 169 bananas to claim Feel free to go and snap it up uh, if you would like. Uh, of course, your banana needs to be your PFP needs to be linked to Metrica already. Now, this row, uh, apologies for the delay. Let's pass the time to you. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, my my microphone is a little bit better now. I've kind of uh, switched to my my other uh, laptop. Um, all right, so um, let's go and um, have some fun, as you were saying. Um, maybe the G21 will leave that um, to the end, so we can we can start with um, kind of like the previous ones. Uh, so just just a note, um, and I, I want to to apologize to everyone that is still waiting on their. Um, the rewards from um, from the beginning of the week on the Gito day, so we had like some issues with um, with the squad with squads, and it was kind of like giving us some uh, hard time uh, preparing the um, the transactions. So uh, there are, uh, I believe, like fifteen people uh, that are still um, waiting on their um, kind of. Uh, um, prizes from from g today there's like a bunch of different ones in there but um so apologies for that uh, there's also uh the barrel um uh, buyers uh that we are still uh, kind of processing so that's still um to go as well uh we'll probably just do that uh, all together um with the winners today as well so yeah expect that uh, um between today and i guess like the end of, of the weekend because this have to be voted as well um so yeah Apologies for that. We always try to be as fast as possible, but sometimes um, we, we have issues, and um, we kind of uh, we need to 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 do that through the squads um, multi sig, and yeah, it kind of uh, delays a lot of these things anyway. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm not I, I'm I'm not going to look at the um, the chat because I'm just focusing on on this um, window. So um, if you uh, see anything or if you want to mention anything, uh, let me know, please, uh, because I, I won't be kind of uh, watching the the chat anyway. Um, all right. So so we'll start with uh, with the barrel. Um, so for for this week, we have um, five barrels to. Um, to draw so let's just uh so this is the the list of um of uh, people that bought a ticket this week uh, we also um decreased the number of uh, available tickets so we have um 450 so, um, so yeah so slightly uh, higher chances um to win um a barrel so let's see so i'm just uh, shuffling um all of this and we will start the raffle Right, APOID. Oh, congratulations. wow. Congratulations. This is a family of millennium. APOID. Congrats. So that's the first one. Second one will have Horex. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Another one. That's the second one. No. For the third, we have. Right. Wow. Now, this is actually, you know, um, very, very uh, good to see a lot of uh, active community members getting rewarded with the wins. Definitely. Um, right. Picking up the fourth one. Okay. Sad. Sad. Okay. Congratulations. Sad. 
And the last one. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> level had uh, something. Monk, right. monk. Yeah. Something, something, something. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so far, so good, I think. Uh, if we need to redraw something, uh, we will check that as well. And we can um, take the necessary steps uh, for that. So for now, we will have um, these winners. Let me just kind of uh, record that as well. All right. So now we are changing the list. So we have our five winners. So now we are going to have our kind of 10 um, winners for uh, the, um, the Famous Foxes runes. So um, as Unjust Mouse said, um, this is just going to be uh, kind of like randomly dropped by the, the Famous Fox team. So we are just sending them the wallets and you, you'll get them directly. Um, so we don't even know like the rarity or anything. They will just, um, it was just kind of like a, um, a, a partnership uh, with us and, and trying to, to get some runes um, out of, uh, out to, to, our, to our community as well. So, so yeah, so this was a flash, uh, flash raffle. We just started this um, at the beginning of the town hall um we have 274 um people uh, or tickets that were brought were bought so um, so yeah so we're gonna just uh kind of um shuffle this a little bit and let's see we're gonna do like the 10 different winners chewy is our first one congratulations Bertin Albertin, second one. Ick. Third. Kim is the fourth. Lothar, um, the fifth. Oh, wow. Oh, congrats. Good to see your name here as well. Um, random guy. Sick. Frank the Tank. This is our seventh winner. Joy Killer. Or eighth. Talkir, ninth, and the last one, Connor. All right. Um, so we have the ten winners for for the runes. Again, we will validate all of this, and and uh, this one is probably less of a problem because it's probably people that were <laughs> uh, or are in the in the town hall. Um, so so yeah, congratulations to all of you. Um, and now we'll go to the to the last. Uh, prizes which are also um kind of uh, related to the to the Gito uh day so um at the G uh, during the Gito day we also um put up a, a big raffle uh so we have three prizes so we have uh, 500 Gito 1000 Gito and 200 and 2000 Gito so um, so quite uh, considerable uh, prize um and we we have uh we've put um like a uh, 1500 tickets available uh, and we had we had like just a little bit over 1200 so uh, quite a big participation as well um so yeah so let's just start with um we'll start with the third prize and then we'll go up uh, until the the big last prize all right so, um, so yeah let's see who got who gets the 500 g2 right mike come Congratulations, that's the third uh, and 500 G2 prize. So now for the second one. Yeah. Were you saying anything? Oh, no, uh, I was saying congratulations. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Cool. No, 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 it's all right. I, I just heard like a sound, so I wasn't sure. Um, all right, so for the second one and 1,000 G2, let's see. Kurt's that. So, congratulations. 
And now the final prize for 2000 uh, G2. Save the monkey. All right. So here are our three winners. Um, we will kind of verify everything just to, to make sure. But um, if nothing changes, um, this is our entire list of winners. Um, if your name is on this list, congratulations. If it's not, uh, we will we'll kind of uh, continue having uh, lots of new opportunities and other raffles and um, prizes to um, to 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 participate um, in the banana stand. So yeah, thanks everyone, um, and I think we're all good for for this week. Uh, so yeah, uh, keep an eye for next week. We'll have at least we'll have some barrels. But as Anjan Moss said, we also have some some other stuff coming up. So yeah, just keep an eye for, on that. All right, thanks a lot. This show really appreciate. Congratulations once again to all the winners. And uh, don't worry, Queen. I definitely feel the same way. Wasted more bananas, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's bananas well spent. We at least have a chance at you know getting hold of one of these prizes. Not this week, but maybe in the future one. Uh, once again, big shout out to everyone for taking the time to join us. And apologies uh, that this hang ho actually stretched a little bit longer. And let's send the pump it up vibes. Wishing everyone an amazing weekend ahead and I uh, hope you get time to touch grass. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Don't you know, pump it up, you got to pump it up, up, up.